Oh no. Some scary shit going on. Holy shit. <laughs> genuinely look scared. No, what are they eating? I think she was like just eating flesh. It's like a giant tarantula on her head. His head? Her? His? Oh, I blame you, Tim Burton. Oh. That's some gnarly makeup and costumes, man. Production value, great. That sound. They're sampling my mating call. This stuff's great. Oh no, they're gonna eat her. Who laughing? I'm about to close the computer. <laughs> I don't like this. That was some crazy shit. No, not gonna do that refrain for me one more time. <laughs> I'm going to have nightmares because of this. <laughs> Why would you show? Them? I would say the music was pretty good. <laughs> okay, I like the rain. The rain. Nice touch. I hope that's water. It's really artistic. I'm just waiting for something to really go crazy here. It was good. Are gothic boy bands a thing in Japan? <laughs> Video game characters. It was like Final Fantasy characters. It was dope. Final Fantasy, the rock opera. Compared to the last one, this is... <laughs> This is much easier to digest. I don't know if they're boys or girls, but they fine. Like, look how pretty his eyes are! That's not fair! Little Kill Bill references going on? That was great! That one seemed a little that was like better. Normal. It's still not my type of music. It's no Carly Rae Jepsen. A little harmonica action. I can already tell this is gonna be weird. Hey, shouldn't play with knives. Oh no. Ah, oh, here we go with the weird shit again. Oh, this one best album. Is this like a style in Japan? Like a certain style music video? It's Japanese Marilyn Manson. I'm singing along. <laughs> what is he drinking? I'm not, I'm not big on the whole clown thing. Minus the clown, we're doing good. The costumes are great. All the costume design has been really on point. Oh my god. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Someone licked a leg. I saw it. This like makes my heart race. Oh my gosh. Can I get the names of all these bands? <laughs> Even though it's not for me, I bet you they have millions upon millions upon millions of people that like come to their shows. Somebody soul cycles to that, I'm sure. So how would you describe what we just showed you? I would describe I would describe these videos as very disturbing. Vibes of Marilyn Manson. I enjoy it. It reminds me a lot of kind of the Final Fantasy aesthetic. It was a little Tim Burton-esque, like a designed nightmare. If I were like six years old and I sat here and you put this computer in front of me on camera, I would have started crying. Me too. What genre of music would you classify this these bands under? Uh, <laughs> is there a genre for them? Funny kind of disco, uh, meet Marilyn Manson. I would call that carnage pop. Japanese heavy metal? Heavy metal. Screamo heavy metal? Screamo heavy metal music mixed with 
cosplay and very artistic uh, costuming. So all of these bands are considered something called Visual K. Visual K. Which is a movement among Japanese music, characterized by the use of varying levels of makeup, elaborate hairstyles, flamboyant costumes, and sometimes androgynous aesthetics. Okay. So like late 70s. <laughs> Would you say you liked it? No. I wouldn't say I liked it. I did not like it. I appreciate the art form and people being able to express themselves. I did. Everything looked very perfect. The hair was perfect. Their skin, everything was just unreal. From a musical standpoint, no. From a visual standpoint, yes, absolutely. Can you think of any music genre in the West that is kind of equivalent to what these guys are doing? I mean, you have like Slayer, I guess, is, and Slipknot. Insane Clown Posse? Makes me think of like 80s kind of like rock bands. Kiss? Mm-hmm. With their makeup and like, ah. So let's talk about these videos. The first one was Insanity Injection. <laughs> That's a dope name. What did you think of it? What was happening in that video? Insanity. That's their name. I was so distracted by the screaming that I wasn't even like getting the full effect of the imagery. It was like the worst parts of Ridley Scott's Alien. It was Satan side bitches and they didn't eat that morning so they decided to eat all the humans. They were eating people. One of the girls has a costume like this. She looked like Kerrigan. Weird monsters and flesh eating people are I don't know, I, I never expected to see it in a music video. Second band is called The Gazette. The Gazette? And they've been around since 2002. Oh, wow. And they're one of the most popular bands inside of Visual K. What do you think about them? They're probably the most popular because they're not eating, like, dead bodies. I found myself strangely attracted to them. <laughs> that was cool. I see why they've been they've been lasting so long. Out of all of them, that's the one that I could get down with the most. I was expecting some crazy thing to pop out, but it stayed pretty mellow. I liked it. It was still definitely in the wheelhouse, like in that style realm, but because it was more simple, I could enjoy the music a little bit more. And the last video is from a band called Dada Roma. Thoughts on that one? It just like unsettled my stomach. I can't possibly form an opinion that's not I'm afraid. The clown thing's a little weird. I have a bit of a an aversion to clowns. I don't like clowns, so that's me. And the music was screaming, which is also not me. I love that vaudevillian aesthetic. I love kind of like the puppet show feel that it had. A feel of kind of a Alice in Wonderland vibe going on. I like the music. The visuals threw me off, but I guess that's what K does. So visual K is referred to by a lot of people as a genre of music, but people who are in visual K bands will say it's not a genre, but it's the fashion and participation in the related subculture that makes you a visual K band. What are your thoughts about that concept that you could have multiple types of genres in Side of an aesthetic. I guess I kind of like it because it's inclusive to anybody that wants to participate no matter what your taste of music is. It allows for people to express themselves in all of these different ways and I think that's really cool. I like that it's part of a movement and those videos we just saw they're like three different types of songs but you know their costumes are really really cool. Korn kind of did it later where they mixed this kind of like rap rock but like metal thing together. It created this culture that existed with these themes similar I would say to like Visual K where these themes all lived in there. Finally, after being exposed to some of these videos, do you think this is something you're gonna wanna look up and see what other bands are out there? Absolutely not. No. no. If I'm gonna search it, I'm gonna be searching it to scare people. No. I'm not interested in any way to, to, to delve into this nightmare. <laughs> Visually, it's great. Maybe I'll do a Google image search, but maybe not a YouTube music search. 100%. I am going to make a Spotify playlist of Visual K music. After learning that there can be, it's about the visual aesthetic and that it's not just one thing. So that makes me think, oh, there might be something that I would gravitate towards. So that's worth, worth looking into. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching another episode of YouTubers React. You can subscribe to everybody down below. Here, here, here. Boop, 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 boop. Do you have something you want us to react to next? Let us know in the comments below. Goodbye, sweet dreams.